Hi, my name is uh, Adlan de Portoves and uh, I am the CEO of Blue Life AI, a company that uh, builds artificial intelligence uh, to help other companies innovate or maximize their profits or uh, automate uh, their process. And it's a pleasure to be here. I'm also the author of a, a book called AI Crash Course, uh, which is a book on artificial intelligence explaining the theory uh, from the basics to a more advanced theory and also covering many industry examples. Great. Well, Hadalyn, thank you so much for being on Humans of Data Science. I actually have your book right here. I've been reading it. Oh. I love your book. <laughs> I had it also. <laughs> oh, look at us. This is great. Yeah. So uh, that was actually my first question for you was, um, you know, you wrote this book, AI Crash Course. What inspired you to write the book? Um, well, you know, it's uh, the inspiration actually came from a very long time because uh, back at school, I always wrote my own uh, programs. I always wrote my own uh, resources, meaning even when I was studying mathematics, okay, I was following the programs of the school, of the class, but I also like to rewrite uh, the course in mathematics on a, on a known book, on my own book, you know? So I've kind of been uh, writing books for myself only uh, from a very, very long time, you know, over, uh, over many years. And, uh, and so suddenly I said, uh, okay, uh, I've been writing books for myself, you know, for my knowledge to, to learn about many subjects. And uh, what if uh, one day I uh, also uh, write a book for others, you know? Uh, because I, I got this ability of, uh, you know, stru structuring well a content and uh, explaining concepts in a simple way. Uh, and therefore I should, uh, you know, spread the knowledge to the world. But also the other reason is that, of course, uh, I, uh, I am the author of uh, many online courses. So I did many, many online courses on uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. So yes, I, I, I've had like four years of experience explaining uh, AI to, uh, to a lot of students. And okay, that's different than writing a book because it was kind of uh, improvised and uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, uh, like recorded and therefore mm -hmm. very different than writing. But, but still, I had all, these, um, all this experience of providing industry cases, practical activities, explaining com uh, complex topics in a simple way. And therefore, mm -hmm. all this experience was very helpful uh, for, to, to write the book. And uh, even if, uh, yeah, the, the, it, it actually felt really difficult for me to write the book at the beginning because it's a very different process. Well, at the end, uh, that uh, previous inspiration that I got really helped uh, to, to write the book. How long did it take you from start to finish? Uh, one year. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know? The reason why I was saying it's, it was difficult, uh, well, you know, kind of the things that shows it is that it took me only one month to make an online course. Well, <laughs> one month of preparation and one month of recording. But the book, it took me one year because the yeah. book has to be perfect. You know, it has to be uh, well written. It has to be uh, um, perfectly well structured. It has mm -hmm. to be coherent. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, there was a lot of a back and forth, you know, from the publisher and myself to, to write the book. So I started with the first version and uh, I ended up with a version number 18 before publishing the book. Yeah, awesome. It's a very tough process. Right. In the, in the beginning of the book, I think you mentioned that your goal is to help to democratize AI and raise awareness that AI is accessible for everyone and can make a positive difference in the world. Um, there, I know there are people in the world that kind of are fearful and scared of AI. How do you address that? Okay, so indeed, uh, this purpose uh, has been my purpose for a long time. You know, uh, when I began my uh, my entrepreneurship journey. Uh, so yeah, I began with this purpose to to spread not only a good AI education but also to incentivize people to to do AI for good. And uh, indeed, there are a lot of people who are worried that uh, artificial intelligence might take over the world and uh, might uh, you know uh, even uh, be bad uh, but um, that's why there is a th that's actually potentially true but that's why there is a role to play which is to to control it so uh, the more we spread uh, a good knowledge about artificial intelligence with uh, you know positive ideas and uh, positive uh, messages well uh, the better it will uh, well the more it will go in better hands and therefore those hands the better hands Will, uh, will be the ones that uh, can control it in the right way, you know, to, to go in the right direction. So right. Uh, th that's why I, uh, I really want to, to spread uh, knowledge worldwide, but also with this positive message, because uh, 
if um, yeah, if we don't spread the right message, it might fall into the, the wrong hands, and I don't want that to happen. Right, makes sense. Um, so, who is this book for, and where can people pick it up? Uh, okay, so th this book is for uh, anyone <laughs> anyone uh, interested in artificial intelligence and also beginners, because uh, I explain everything from scratch. There is even a full chapter on how to code in Python with all the basics explained, even the, the more advanced concepts of uh, programming. So yes, this is really addressed for uh, beginners in, uh, in uh, not only AI, but also uh, IT, you know, computer science. Uh, but, in, but then also uh, in the second half of the book, there are more advanced projects, more advanced industry cases. And therefore, for those people who uh, are uh, already past the beginner level and uh, who yeah. wants to uh, learn more about more advanced stuff about artificial intelligence, well, they, they would also uh, you know, be interested in the book because there, there are those real world uh, industry examples, case studies, uh, where, they could, uh, where they can learn how to build some advanced AI to, to solve like complex real world problems. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, but uh, anyway, yes, the, the, the general answer is anyone interested in artificial intelligence, where, whether it is to start or to uh, get more advanced. And people can get it on Amazon, right? Right, Amazon and also uh, Pact, the Pact uh, website. Uh, mm -hmm. There is actually uh, uh, Fnac also, uh, who is selling it, like some external Pact partners. Uh, but uh, yes, the main uh, sources for now are Amazon and uh, Pact. Awesome. All right, let's move on to Blue Life AI. I just wanted to hear yeah. more about what's your current role there and what is Blue Life? Okay, so uh, Blue Life is an AI consulting company. Basically, after I, um, after I produced uh, like the 50th course, online course and wrote the book, uh, well, uh, I wanted to do more with artificial intelligence and still align with this purpose. Uh, and uh, what, what, what happened is that uh, with my business partner, Kirill Aramenko, we started this new company, Blue Life, which is a consulting company, therefore addressed to B2B, uh, mm -hmm. where we help other businesses to maximize their profit, innovate, automate their tasks with uh, RPA, you know, automation, um, or other kind of um, uh, AI services. So for example, I'll give you typical examples of what we do to our uh, clients. Uh, okay. For example, we, we build a chatbot uh, that will improve their customer service. We also do RPA, robotic process automation, that will automate their repetitive tasks, therefore mm -hmm. optimizing their efficiency. Uh, we also do simple predictive models that uh, will help them uh, make uh, more money because uh, once uh, they, they make the right predictions, well, they, they can know, for example, how to better target their customers. So that's, uh, that's another form of, uh, of AI. Uh, then we also, we have not done it yet, but we also offer computer vision services uh, where, you know, uh, we build some uh, computer vision uh, programs or robots that will, um, that will uh, detect some, um, some part of the processes therefore uh, automating uh, the process of uh, those companies. So for example, let's take a mining company that has uh, different steps of the process. Well, at some of these steps, there is a, there can, we can implement a computer vision system that will uh, basically do the same job as a human would do, but in a much more precise way and a much faster way, much more efficient way. So that's uh, another service we, we offer, but we have not done it yet and we would like to do it in the future. Uh, then, uh, yeah, so chatbots, uh, machine learning, or uh, even reinforcement learning, and RPA mostly. So, yeah. Exciting is, uh, stuff. Yeah, very exciting. This is Do very exciting. Do you guys have exciting. a team, or is it just the two of you for now? Uh, yeah, no. So, uh, we are two business partners, Kirill and myself. But mm -hmm. uh, we have a team of experts, uh, of course, who are building the, the AIs, and also a team of um, sales salespeople and uh, lead generators. So yes, uh, like for, for now, the team uh, is uh, close to 10 people. Okay, cool. So you mentioned early on that you've developed these Udemy courses, and I think that's the first time I've come across your name was searching through Udemy courses. They were being one of the more highly rated courses on the platform. Why do you think there's such a high demand for these online courses on machine learning and data science? Um, well, simply because there is, first of all, there is a high demand for um, these skills by companies. You know, uh, um, a lot of companies, well, actually most of companies today are building a data science department, uh, data science team, not yet an AI department or, you know, AI expertise uh, uh, branch of the, of the business, but data science for sure. 
they're either building a data science department or they want to uh, to outsource it to uh, to some data science expertise and, and therefore yes the companies are um, demanding more and more those kind of skills and therefore there are more and more jobs uh, offered in these uh, areas and besides these jobs are very well paid so mm -hmm. there is a, a general increase of the um, interest and demand for these jobs and therefore a general increase of uh, you know ways to get these skills and therefore training programs so so that's a, a first reason then the second reason is of course the fact that um, uh, there is this uh, message a strong message that uh, ai is replacing a lot of jobs mm -hmm. so that's true ai is automating a lot of jobs but the thing that we forget to say about this and it, this is very important is that okay some some jobs will disappear but three times more jobs will be created and those three times more jobs will be actually around artificial intelligence, engineering, IT, artificial intelligence, data science, all these fields. And therefore, those training courses are also very uh, successful because they get people prepared to the future jobs, to the, you know, the future uh, generation of jobs. And uh, yes, people are anticipating and, uh, and therefore uh, getting the new skills of tomorrow. Great. Yes, I agree with all, everything you said. <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> So the last question I have for you is, what do you like to do outside of AI, outside of work? Oh, outside of work? Uh, nothing, because I work all the time. No, I'm joking. No, no, no. I, uh, I, I, I love swimming. I, uh, I actually uh, live in Dubai, so uh, um, uh, there is like water everywhere. <laughs> and uh, it's very easy to go swim every day. So I go swim every day. Uh, this is kind of the moment where I escape and I can really uh, you know, recharge. Uh, and that's also uh, that also helps me to have a high energy. So uh, yes, I swim every day. Uh, I also like uh, going to um, to some conferences, uh, events, uh, but but about different things. Not not necessarily about AI, but I also like to go to art conferences. Uh, to um, I also like I like going to cinema because I love cinema. Uh, I also like going to um, um, like uh, exhibitions on different kinds of stuff. Um, I also um, like traveling a lot. I love traveling and with my business partner, we have been traveling a lot. That's also the good thing about Blue Life is that uh, we meet uh, clients in uh, very different uh, industries, therefore uh, different countries, and that mm -hmm. gets us to, to travel and uh, visit new cultures. I love that. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, mostly what I do uh, outside of my work. Great. Are you attending that, um, that conference, Data Science Go, in November? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, not only uh, the one in November, but also uh, there'll be a, a first one in uh, Berlin. Uh, oh, okay. and, yeah, will you attend too? I'm going to the one in San Diego, but not in uh, right. okay. not in Berlin. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, um, I I've been uh, to all the DSGO conferences, uh, and uh, yes, I look forward to the one in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be my first one um, with Kirill. So should be fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you, you'll see it's amazing. And it's increasing every year. I think mm -hmm. this year might be close to 1000 people. Wow, great. Yeah, I heard really good things about the conference. So I'm excited. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. it's a very good conference for uh, data science and, uh, and people who want to uh, not only uh, start a career in data science, but also who want to get to the next level. Great. Well, Hadlin, thank you so much for being at Humans of Data Science. It's been great getting to know you. Yes, and likewise, it was a pleasure to do this interview. And, uh, and uh, Kate, I wish you the, the best for the future and in data science mostly also. <laughs>